Okay, hi YouTube. I am back in LA and I'm very, very excited to be back here. I'm not gonna lie. We spent all of the summer on the East Coast from like April up until like a week ago and coming back here, like unpacking all of our stuff. I'm now officially moving to LA, which is very exciting. My brain is kind of mush right now because we just have so much stuff that we're going through and organizing and setting up stuff that we've brought back, stuff that was in storage here. But I also have a very exciting package coming today. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I cannot wait to see it. So let's go get ready. Okay, so I have washed and moisturized my face already and I'm just gonna take you through a really quick makeup tutorial and how I'm gonna do my hair today. Okay, I am done with makeup, so I'm gonna start in my hair now. I have my curling iron heated up. So I'm just going to start with taking my front pieces like this guy and let it out. And I kind of like to shake the heat out of it a little bit before I let the curl fall. And then I'm just gonna continue doing that around my head and taking you know, just random pieces, and this I'm actually going to curl the other way. Shake out some of that heat. And we're all curled, so I'm just going to give my hair a spritz of dry shampoo just to add a little bit more texture at the roots. Give my hair a good shake out here and we're all ready. So I'm going to bring us downstairs and make some coffee, some breakfast, and get started on some of the work for the day while we wait for that delivery. So let's go. Okay, so I quickly made some coffee. I have some oatmeal here as well, and my absolute favorite strawberries from Creation. These are the ones that are like, um, dehydrated strawberries and they're so delicious. I'm gonna eat this. Mm. Get in on some emails and get the day started. I've gotten probably a nice bit of work done actually <laughs> this morning, but I just got a message that said the delivery is on its way. So I'm gonna take you guys to go get dressed with me. Maybe throw on some lipstick, I don't know, let's see. So one of my favorite things to do when I um, come back from traveling, and I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, is like go through my wardrobe and feel like I have like all new clothes because I haven't seen them in so long. So before I left, I got this beautiful uh, vintage Chanel dress and I wanted to get it tailored. I wanted to get it taken in on the like waist area, but I didn't have a chance to, so I had left it here even though I'm obsessed with it and it would've been great this summer. Option number two is just like a really classic dress outfit, button down and um, a pair of trousers. This is just like an old button down that I got years ago from Prem. These pants I got from Etsy and I haven't had a chance to wear these yet either. So I think I might go with these just because I've been dying to wear these and I've been like thinking about it, but I'll show you both. Okay, wanted to show the dress first. I think it's stunning. I cannot wait to wear this, but I do think it needs to be taken on a little bit here. Funny enough, it fits perfectly on my hips. They're so stinking cute. And they fit perfectly. I don't think I even tried these on after I bought them because it was really close to when we were leaving and I was packing mostly summer stuff and these were a little bit heavier. I didn't think it was like right to bring it for summer. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll go for like a little bit of a red lip or something. This is how I always feel the most comfortable also, like button down and trousers. It just feels like me. I'm gonna find a red lip. I think that feels right too. 
So I'm just applying some of this lip color. It's the Rouge Allure Liquid Powder. And I actually don't know if this is still available, but I know there's an ink fusion color that's very similar to this, and I'll leave it linked in the description for you guys. The delivery is here, so I'm very excited. Let's go pop down and see what it's all about. Okay, not gonna lie, I don't know what to expect, but I'm very excited. Excuse any mess behind me there. Um, we're still working a bunch and cleaning up the house. So I'm just going to head down and see what we got down here. So excited. <laughs> Compliments to Chanel. Okay, so Chanel has just brought the most amazing delivery. There's this beautiful scooter that they've brought it in on and I'm about to find out what is inside this box. I'm so excited. obviously open it up. I'm gonna pop these flowers off of this here and let's get into it. So this of course is the iconic Chanel number no. 5 perfume bottle and we're actually celebrating 100 years of Chanel number no. 5. It was launched in 1921 and it's 2021 now and they have done so many amazing really really unique launches to celebrate the 100 years of this perfume but this for me honestly might take the cake this is a very special limited edition advent calendar i love advent calendars one of my favorite things about the holiday season is like that countdown and i just love the december holidays my birthday is new year's eve so it's just like weeks and weeks of fun and you get to like have this like little bits of chocolate or little bits of chanel number no. five to lead you up to like those really, really fun days with your friends and family. I love it. Ugh. So it actually starts, of course, with number five. So I think we should open that up, but I think I might be able to guess what's inside. And I think I'm correct. It's a little number five perfume bottle. I love a mini perfume. <gasps> It's so cute. I love minis. I don't know if that's just me, but the mini section anywhere always gets me. So what other numbers uh, do we want to go through in here? I feel like 11 is a fun number, 11, 11 and such. Angel number. Ooh, okay. This is a lip color and a beautiful classic red. Love that. And Ooh, this one is like a little heavier. This one, another mini. This is a body cream. Beautiful little Chanel number no. 5 body cream. I'm really favoring this side maybe because it's closer to me. But let me pop this one open and see. It's actually a bracelet. That's really cool. It's like um, a little wax seal bracelet. Let's do... 20 next because I feel like that's a really nice number. Ooh. This is a lip color. This is actually a limited edition Chanel number no. 5 lip color. I want to see what color this is. It has the 5 on the cap, which is really beautiful. Of course, the classic red. There's just nothing better than like the classic Chanel red lip. I don't think anyone does it better. There was another box that I also got from Chanel that had these little mini boxes inside and I did an ASMR video. I'll link it in the description below if you guys want to check it out just so you can kind of get an idea of some of the things that might be in all of these boxes because I don't know if I have time to um, unbox all of them on this video. So much thought goes into these boxes behind the scenes. It's absolutely amazing. It's so cool to like open up all of these things and like see the little quirky bits inside. Um, I feel like, oh, there is a 31. There's my birthday. I'm going to open this up. I actually didn't see this. I didn't realize that there was a, a 31. This is another bracelet. Just with a 5 on it. It's really cute. 
think I have an idea of what's in 25. I feel like it's always kind of the jackpot of an advent calendar, so. It's a Chanel number no. five perfume. I knew it, I knew it. Number five had to be a perfume and 25 had to be a perfume. I'm so excited to dig through. I'm sure there's like a lot more beauty stuff and I can almost guarantee you there has to be a nail polish in here. I know that there is because Chanel nail polishes are beautiful. What is this one? <gasps> this one is Patches. That's so cool. I'm going to put this straight on a denim jacket. I'll do 16, which is, this is another, I want to say mini perfume. This is the Lou. 23. This one is like a little heftier. Oh, <laughs> a lot of little fringe. That's so cool. It's like the, the wax seal. It, it's got some weight to it too. Like it, this is, it, it feels really nice. Is this what I think it is? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me take this fringe off. It's a bookmark. I mean, I read my Kindle all the time, but this makes me want to go out and buy like regular books because it might be my favorite piece in the whole box. 10. That feels like a, probably a good number to end on. Oh my goodness. It's a snow globe ornament with a little Chanel number no. five perfume inside. I'm such a sensitive person when it comes to ornaments. This is so, so cool. I'm gonna probably pack this all up. I don't wanna ruin all of the surprises for myself or for you guys, so I'm going to put the half of the boxes that I already went through back in the box and I am going to put this away for safekeeping for a little bit. Okay, I just have to say, what an amazing experience. That was so fun to get to open that up and go through all of the little boxes, even if I did save a few to be surprises for myself later. And I have to say, the rest of my day is a little bit more monotonous. I have a bunch of work that I have to do. Let me just show you really quickly like where I'm at because I'm a little bit overwhelmed with this, but I just thought I should share because I feel like I might have kind of a weird way of organizing my things, maybe not. I don't know if it's like an ADHD thing or what, but basically whenever I travel and then unpack, I throw everything out in a big pile and then I organize it it all gets refolded, organized, anything that needs extra cleaning, whatever. Um, so that's kind of where I am right now. I like don't even want to show it. And I hate, I hate showing it because um, it's so messy and I get embarrassed about that. I just have that looming over me and I don't really feel like it's like a vlog thing. I don't know. Maybe you guys want to see stuff like that. I will probably refrain from sharing that today. If anything else exciting comes up, I will film it. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I always, always, always enjoy being able to share fun moments with you guys. And I really know I need to do it more. With that, I'll leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Chanel. And I'll see you in the next video.